Chidambaram is a temple city in Tamil Nadu about 78 kilometers from Pondicherry 160 kilometers from Trichy and 50 kilometers from Kadlur Chidambaram is famous for the Natraj temple this is the external view of the eastern side gopuram of Sri Natraj temple This road on the northern side of Nataraj temple goes to Thilai Kaliyamma temple. We took a walk to this Kaliyamma temple which is about half kilometer from Nataraj temple. This Kali temple is the second most famous temple in Chidambaram. It is believed that God Nataraj and goddess Thillai Kali dance together and hence visiting Nataraj temple is incomplete without visiting this Kali temple. <coughs> this is the northern side view of the Nataraj temple. There are four major streets at the four sides of Nataraj temple this road on the north side is called the north car street This is the western side road of the Nataraj temple. Chidambaram is quite a big township with good transportation and a big market. This is the view of the western side gopuram of Sri Nataraj temple. in Chidambaram we took puri and sabji in a hotel which was served on banana leaves the food was quite tasty and satisfactory show you the details of Nataraj temple the main attraction of Siddhambaram in the next video this is Nataraj temple in Siddhambaram one of the most famous Shiva temples of South India the original temple was very ancient while the current structure is renovated during 12th century. There are four gopurams or the entrance gates at all four sides of the temple. This is the gopuram at the main entrance.
The temple is spread over a large area of about 40 acres of land. All the structures in the temple complex date back to the Chola period in 12th century. Apart from the main temple of Lord Nataraj, there is Amma Temple, Murugan Temple, Ganapati Temple, Nritya Mandap, Hundred Pillar and Thousand Pillar Mandap and the large Shiva Ganga tank. This is the huge temple tank in Nataraj temple known as Shiva Ganga. The tank is in the third corridor of the temple opposite to the shrine of goddess Shivagami. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shiva Har Har Bole Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shiva Nataraj temple of Sidambaram is one of the most beautiful Shiva temples with a peaceful spiritual environment. Anybody with a spiritual inclination 
would love to visit this place again and again This is Chidambaram bus stand. From Chidambaram bus stand, we took a local bus to go to Pichavaram. Pichavaram is about 15 kilometers from Chidambaram. The bus took about 45 minutes and took us straight into the Pichavaram boating complex. This is Pichavaram boating complex which is run by TTDC or Tamil Nadu Tourism Development Corporation. In Pichavaram boating complex, our first attraction was the telescope tower. We paid a small entry fee of 5 rupees per head and climbed up the tower through the spiral steps. The tower was really fantastic to watch the beautiful sceneries around the telescope house. They also allowed us to see through a big telescope. After visiting the telescope tower, we came to the boating counter. Two types of boats were available there. Power boats, capacity of 10 people are 1000 rupees for 40 minutes and rowing boats are 150 rupees per hour. There is no pedal boat or self-driven boat. We booked a rowing boat and prepared to start our journey through the mangrove forest in the water. The boat journey started from a large water surface which looked like a lake and later slowly the boat went through the narrow lanes of the mangrove forest. Mm. Yeah. All the same mangrove. Three kilometers. Okay. 
லார்ஜ் ஏரியா இந்த மாதிரி சின்ன சின்ன கேவ் கனால் அதெல்லாம் வந்து ஒரு 4000 800 கனால் போறோம் The mangrove forest in Pechavaram spreads over a large area of 1200 hectares of land. There are as many as 20 different species of mangroves in the forest. The color of the mangrove leaves were dark green and the roots were dark brown. The color of the water was deep green and brackish. चेरे फिर ऐसी वो नजर रखी था place may look scary to some people but it is actually safe as the depth of the water is only 3 to 4 feet moreover there is no crocodile in the whole area मेडिसिन boat was going through the narrow lanes of water the mangrove trees were literally hitting us on our body and head you should be careful about the trees otherwise you may lose your caps goggles mobile phones cameras and bags etc which may easily fall into the water dalo It was a very different experience than a typical boating on a lake or river. Oh. 
mangro We requested the boatman to allow us to do the rowing. Bobby did rowing for some time, then I also did the rowing for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I quickly learned how to turn the direction of the boat by putting more pressure on left or right hand. Boating in Pichavar Mangrove Forest was a great experience. If anybody is going to Chidambaram, he should not miss this opportunity of boating in Pichavaram Mangrove Forest. Thank you. 